Uh, good morning, everyone. We are Group 5, and my name is Jun Kim. Hola, Xiao. I'm Xiao Bae. And we will uh, discuss about the mortality of the COVID-22 X. Uh, this is the definition of the mortality. The mortality the mortality is the number of deaths divided by the diseased person. And we expect that uh, COVID-22X has a similarity with the COVID-19. So we also can expect that the mortality of COVID-22X by using the data of the COVID-19. The mortality of the COVID-19 is the approximately 4.41%. And it is lower than the mortality of the SARS and MERS, but this is the much more higher than mortality of seasonal influenza. And this figure shows the, the time cost change of the mortality of COVID-19. And it is the global mortality. And this line is the mortality in Europe. And this line is the mortality in, in America. The different region and different country shows a different mortality. So we will try to explain uh, what is the reason that the, the difference happens? Uh, the, the reason why the mortality is important is the, we can get the information of the risk factor of the mortality of COVID-19 COVID COVID by using the, this data. And we, all, we can also get the clue to solve the problem blocking you know, uh, blocking to decrease the mortality and there are many articles which argue that age is the most important risk factor of the COVID-19 so we will try to explain whether age is the most important risk factor in COVID-19 or not and also we will explain whether there are any other you know, risk factor of the COVID-19. Here in our work, uh, we understand that how crucial it's know uh, which groups within the population are most in the risk. And uh, if we know which section of society are most likely to die or suffer other serious consequences, then that allows us to direct our resources towards the most fully number who need them the most. And between these problems, we uh, highlight like each factor underlying health condition and healthcare system. Uh, for many infection disease, young children are most at the risk. For example, malaria, 57 percent globally, I, children under five years. For the largest pandemic in recorded in history, Spanish flu, children and young adults were at the greatest risk from this pandemic. Uh, here in this graph, we can see South Korea, Spain, and China. Uh, within Italy, how they are uh, case fatality rates increase during 70 and uh, uh, 70 years after. Uh, that's why we can understand that for COVID-19, uh, all positive directions seems to be true and elderly group is the most higher risk. Uh, it's, it's, it's definitely by age or it's something different like underla underlying health condition. Everybody knows that older you get, the more risk you will are. Underlying uh, health conditions such as cardiovascular disease, respiratory disease, or diabetes, um, elderly people are mostly like to have those conditions, which is likely to be a part of the reason why the elderly are most at the risk from COVID-19. Uh, here we can see the data from UCA and China that compare uh, prevalence of uh, adult population who have underlying health conditions like hypertension, obesity, and cardiovascular disease and in USA, and cardiovascular diabetes and chronic respiratory disease in China. Uh, why this disease? Why another one not in the top? Here we can see the data how high obesity level are in USA during a uh, whole population, not just elderly. That's why we can see this data about ob obesity and hypertension for uh, 
for elderly group for, for uh, mortality rate in UCA. And uh, how about distinguish uh, uh, this rate between male and female. We can, here we can see that uh, for basically for every country, the male or uh, death rate is more higher and in which we can ask us ourselves why it occurs like this. Um, basically, it's connected that men most likely to have unhealthy lifestyle. They have lack of exercise, a lot of stress, and usually men are more often uh, use alcohols. Okay, I will introduce about the healthcare system. Uh, you can see these the charts above show comparative data on key indicators such as availability of acute care beds, mechanical ventilators, or medical personnel, or testing of COVID-19. You can see this the South Korea is performing well on several indicators, and it it can be connect connected with result of mortality rate. You can see the South Korea is disappeared the one month after the data of mortality rate, and this is the uh, date of uh, data between Italy and Korea. You can see these curves in uh, different countries may be related to what in public health literature and is referred to some surge capacity of healthcare system. And this difference of surge capacity system can represent these uh, different uh, mortality rate of Korea and Italy. And I want to introduce about challenges identified from previous pandemics. You can see this comparison above shows between the flu and COVID-19 uh, mortality rate, and you can see the coronavirus is more fatal than the flu across all ages range. And this is the case of South Korea, and this case of US. And one of the challenges to reduce mortality rate is social distancing. All we know that uh, social distancing can prevent from the infection of disease. And one of the example is the, the first cases of 1918 flu were reported in Philadelphia, and the authorities allowed public gatherings or did some social distancing, the latest social distancing. Uh, and however, St. Louis is the best social distancing, so it represents some uh, significant difference between the two cities. And the case of COVID-19 in Mississippi, they tried faster social distancing uh, effort than other regions, so they can uh, make some slowdown of the infection rate. And this is the graph that uh, famous after COVID-19, and the protective measures can limit the rise of new COVID, such as some um, social distancing or cleaning surfaces or other else. And one of the other challenges is wearing masks. Uh, look at these countries' difference. Uh, the Czech and Austria, Poland, Canada has some different uh, speed of the uh, mandatory uh, wearing masking policy. And the Czech is the fastest and Canada is the latest. Uh, actually, in Canada, there are many people who do not wear masks or wear some non-medical or some homemade masks, so this uh, difference makes some difference of mortality rate. Yeah, and after all of this information, what kind of highlights we can see? What is suggestive approach and what is future direction to improving mortality outcome for the future pandemic, the same for uh, now, now going? Um, we can highlight two points, basically a healthy life lifestyle and hygiene is uh, the most important things. The same how the follow the instruction and recommendation of government and ministry of healthcare system. Thank you for your attention.